There is a new wrinkle in the vaccination debate. Spacing them out is becoming more common. And even though the vast majority of doctors think it's a bad idea, many are doing it anyway because parents want them to. Local 12 Sydney Benter talked to a mom about why she thinks more space between shots is a healthier choice. There you go. My two-year-old has like learned what happens at the doctor, so he kind of always cries whenever we go. Going to checkups can be an ordeal for little ones like Nicole Hansen's two boys. So why would you want to go more than you have to? More and more moms like Nicole are asking doctors to space out their children's vaccines. My doctors know me well enough now that they're like, go ahead and tell us which ones you want to get this time and which ones you want to put off. A new report shows that 93% of pediatricians surveyed say parents have asked them to spread out their child's vaccines. When it comes to spacing of vaccines, different from what the FDA, the CDC, or the AAP would recommend, there's no data to suggest that it's necessary or a good thing to do. Nicole tells me she's just worried about what she's exposing her children to. But I don't like to do too many at one time. I feel like that's really harsh for them. Not sure if it actually is, but that's just how I feel about it. Dr. Frank says today's vaccines are safer than they've ever been. Our immune system can handle tons of antigens at one time. So really there's no science to show that the vaccines overload the immune system. Antigen is the substance that triggers a response from your child's immune system. Pediatricians say there is a rhyme and reason for the vaccine schedule. Nicole says she's diligent about scheduling follow-up appointments to make sure her boys are up to date, even though it means more trips to the doctor's office. It's a little challenging trying to take both of them in by myself, but we, we get through. <laughs> we get by and deal with it. <laughs> Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. Many parents are still concerned about complications and a connection to autism. Some recent studies, though, have shown no connection.